all those animations have in common? Well, I created them using elements from my city pack. And the good news is, I've just updated this pack with 15 new buildings and now it works with the asset browser. I created this pack because I wanted some assets that would not kill my computer. The objects are realistic enough for beautiful animations and at the same time, very very easy for your machine to render and to manipulate in the viewport. You can duplicate and array those creations without slowing down your precious PC. The pack contains now 50 buildings, 11 skyscrapers with an easy light system and 40 city props. The link will be in the description. Once you have downloaded the pack from the Blender market, you will have this zip file and all you have to do is to unzip it. Then you will have those files and all you have to do is to copy this path. And to install those assets in the asset browser, you click on edit, preferences, you go in file path and here in asset libraries, you click on plus, you delete this path and you paste the path where you have the files, you press enter and now you will be in this directory. Then you click on add asset library. And that's it, you have the city pack installed. Now, if I open an asset browser, so here you go in asset browser and in this drop down list, you can select a GYB city pack. So you will have the buildings, the city props and the skyscrapers. And let me show you how you can import those in your scene. For the buildings, you will have two different types, the collection and the simple building with this little square. For the simple buildings, all you have to do is to drop it in your scene, drag and drop like this. And for the buildings, which are a collection, you do the same, you just drag and drop. But here you can click on this little icon and be sure that the Z position is set to zero. So now the building will be on the ground. And those buildings are collections because sometimes I have included lights and different parts in it. For example, with this building, you can see that there are lights, but at the moment you can't really edit those lights. So to do so, you select the buildings, you press Ctrl A on your keyboard, and you click on make instances real. And now you will have access to all the different parts of the building if you want to edit the lights or stuff like that. So let me show you again. This is a simple building because we have this little icon, the square one. So I just drag and drop it in my scene. And then for the collection ones, you drag and drop the building. Then be sure to put zero on the Z to have it on the floor. And if needed, you can press Ctrl A and make instances real if you want to edit the different parts. Now for the city props, it's exactly the same. You will have normal props like this one with this little square. And sometimes you will have a collection like this street lamp or this one. So for the collections, all you have to do is exactly the same. You drag and drop the object. Be sure to put zero on the Z, and if you want to edit the power of the light, for example, Control A and make instances real. So now you have access to the light. For the skyscrapers, they are all normal objects. So you just drag and drop the object in your scene. And if you want to change the light system for the skyscrapers, you go in shading. Here, you select a skyscraper night, and with this fact command, you can switch between daylight configuration and night configuration. And this is the case for all the skyscrapers. Let me show you a concrete example with this animation, which comes from my animation course, The Ride. And by the way, guys, my course is actually 25% off and it also includes, along with many other assets, this actual city pack. So for this scene to create this street, I only used the assets from the city pack, all the buildings and the props. And let me show you three tricks that I use. For example, here, I like this building, but it was not high enough. So I just placed one on top of the other. And this is something I often do when I need high buildings in my scene. For some variations, I also like to use those facades along with a real building behind to give them some thickness. And I did the same here. But if you like, you could use facades without anything behind, like those ones. So it will be very light to handle in your viewport and to render. And once again, the final result, despite using only facades, looks great. Now you know guys how I create cities and streets for my animation. Don't hesitate if you have questions. I talk to you soon. Bye bye.